Prepping for a holiday feast at your place? Set the tone with the right decor. TV chef Christy Ross shares her tips to set the table for the next get together. Hi, I'm Christy Ross. I'm in the cabin that stood behind our historic Colorado mountain home for 120 years. Thanksgiving's just around the corner, but with social distancing, many celebrations will be smaller this year. So today, I'm sharing inspiration for creating an intimate, nature-inspired Thanksgiving no matter where you call home. Buffets are a great place to create a seasonal display. Here I've taken two strands of silk autumn leaves and just intertwined them. And I added a string of little tiny white lights that are battery powered. A collection of pumpkins creates a very seasonal display. And I have low votive candles and then my favorite tall candlesticks. If you have a mirror over your buffet, take advantage of it. This is a great place to hang a seasonal lush wreath. It gives a beautiful warm feeling for Thanksgiving. I think I spend half my life on a step stool decorating the tops of bookcases and china cabinets. Here I took a single strand of silk autumn leaves and just laid it right across the top of the bookcase and then created a centerpiece with the hydrangeas and assorted autumn picks. On the shelves, out came some of my favorite decor. The plates, the ducks, the pumpkins, my collection of pine cones, but my favorite things on these shelves are the two little wooden cabins that a friend gave me last year. After all, we're in a cabin. And so, what a beautiful backdrop for our Thanksgiving dinner, and that brings me to the table, and that's where the magic happens. This table is festive, but not fussy. Fabulous Thanksgiving plates against gold chargers. Supermarket flowers set in a wooden tray with spruce branches and pine cones. But the thing that my guests always ask me and wonder about is how in the world does she do those napkin folds? So I thought I'd show you. Take a napkin, cotton or linen or vest, and fold it in half and then fan fold most of the way. Just keep fan folding one more, and then you have all those folds on the outside. Fold the whole thing in half, so you have a tail here, and the folds are still on the outside. Tuck this in at the back to create like a sail of a ship, and then when you open the napkin, Voila, there it is. No matter how you celebrate your Thanksgiving, I hope you have much to be grateful for, as we do. Happy Thanksgiving.